So, good morning everyone. I am going to catch my bus to Sofia, Bulgaria to get a connecting bus from there to Bansko. And as you see, or maybe can't see, it is snowing here in Macedonia on this fine morning. And I was going to get a taxi to the bus station, but the man at this hostel that I stayed at last night because I just needed a place to run my gear and sleep told me that oh well you can walk there it's only 500 meters which is you know a half a kilometer he was very helpful he gave me directions and uh, I think the hostel cost me $11.88 to stay at for the night there was one other uh, young man from Turkey in the room where I was at and he was a nice guy didn't bother my stuff he was you know pretty quiet guy he spoke perfect English uh, the guy that works there speaks you know functional English and yeah it's uh, you know it's not a bad route to go if you're traveling and you're on a budget get up a hostel they're not terrible we're gonna see if we can find this bus station now instead of take a right here go to the end of the street and take a left and that I would see it. So I'll be back with an update when I get there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I made it to the bus station. It was a bit of a walk, but it wasn't bad. I am here in Scorpio, Macedonia. And this is going to be my chair that takes me to Bounce. I got here, got my bags loaded. I uh, stripped out my small roll bag out of my larger travel bag so I can have my laptop and, you know, basic essentials with me on the bus. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a fun trip, I hope, I think. And uh, maybe I've uh, already had all the mishaps that I'm going to have on this adventure, but the uh, hostel was a nice place to stay. And I would recommend it. I'll post a name to it in the link. It's incredibly difficult to pronounce for most of you anyway. And it's a strange name. It's not a Holiday Inn, so a lot of you probably won't remember it anyhow. Um, but I'll put a, uh, a link in there, booking.com. By the way, it's fantastic. I'll also share a link for booking.com. They are not paying me, uh, but I will be happy to share a link with them because I have used them for basically all of my bookings. And like, seriously guys, without fail, they're always cheaper than Hotwire or Expedia or Travelocity because I shop. I mean, I check, you know, different various travel sites when I'm making travel arrangements and they are consistently cheaper anyone else so really give them a try um, you save a lot of money and you get to see a lot of things that you wouldn't otherwise get to see anyhow we'll uh, have an update when we get on the road to Bulgaria maybe I'll shoot a little uh, video of the countryside you guys can kind of see what this part of the world looks like but anyhow uh, if nothing else the next checkup will be in Sofia Bulgaria
one more update. You know, it is luck of the draw on buses that you get, you know, in terms of crowding and whatnot. But if you notice, there's like almost no one on this bus with me. So, and I have a full row to myself and nobody next to me, you know. So, as $20 or so goes, you know, buses are a cheap way to travel here in Europe. It is a little slower than going by car, but honestly, it's just about as fast as flying. When, I mean, and it's cheaper when you figure the time that you have to spend in airports dealing with security and all this. With a bus, you just get your bags and you throw them on and you go. And there's no, 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 there's no hassle like there is in the airports, you know. So, um, time-wise, sometimes you're actually even faster to take the bus, uh, despite the fact that it takes longer by driving or by taking a cab, which is incredibly expensive. You know, you can save a lot of money this way. I mean, you can save a pile of money this way and honestly get there in about the same amount of time. So just a, a tip, buses are a great way to travel around, you know, in Europe. There's a company called Flixbus, which I have not tried yet, but I plan to try later. And their buses supposedly have free Wi-Fi and power outlets near the seat, so you can charge your whatever you need to charge, which is great. But I have not been on one of those yet. I will be doing a review on them in about a month or so because I'm planning to do a little traveling with them. They have a pass for 99 euros, which is about 120 US. We can go to any five cities that you like. So I think that'll be quite interesting to see. Anyhow, I just figured I'd show you this very non crowded, very nice, quiet, peaceful bus. And with that said, more updates when we get closer to Sofia. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are about 300 meters from the border crossing here. I am assuming from Macedonia into Bulgaria. So that's pretty nifty. And so it looks interesting and I'm not sure how they feel about uh, filming here so I should probably cut this off but so be back with you all in just a moment I'll see if they'll stamp my passport for me so I wish we had this in the States That is peach juice. It's peach juice with the pulp, and it is epic. It's really, really, really good. And I wish we could get this back home. If you're ever in Bulgaria, try some of this. It's really good, and it's cheap. I mean, I spent, uh, gave her like five euros, and I got a bunch of change back, and I got this bottle of juice two beers, a drink, a bag of cashews, and some candy that comes with free gum. So, yeah. And a, and a nice piece of, like I said, local cheese, which is actually their cheese here. It's really good. It's like a local cheese, and it's excellent. So, anyhow. I'm uh, a bit tired, so I think I might get a little bit of rest here on the rest of the ride into Sofia. But, I wanted to give you guys an update on the food and drink here. And I will tell you how this apple cider, uh, this hard apple cider, and this beer over here is also. We'll find out and see what they got going on here in terms of their local brews. But anyhow, I'm signing off for a minute, and uh, I'll leave you with this beer. See you all soon. Another update. These are like Twix over here. And they come with free watermelon turbulence gum. Interesting. I don't know what that is, but we're going to find out. And also, this is what their cashews look like. This is how they got packaged. These were three leva. Three Bulgarian leva. So cashews are still relatively expensive here as they are everywhere else or something and that 
is their cider that they make here. This is their local beer that one of the Macedonians that is driving the bus told me that this is his favorite beer down this way. So he would know, so I took his advice. And they make exotic Fanta, which I've never seen in the States before, but it's like this tropical fruit flavored Fanta. And it's actually pretty good. We can get it in Kosovo also. Anyhow, I figured you guys might like to see the full the full haul for the uh, convenience store. And I think I, it was, I don't know exactly what the conversion is, but I think all that, all of the grand total was like $3 or $3.50 US. It's not expensive here. Um, you can, anywhere in the Balkans pretty much, you can go a long way on a dollar. Especially if you come into a country like Macedonia or Bulgaria or Ukraine, it's not part of the European Union. The euro is worth more than a dollar, but the euro goes a long way in the Balkans, even if like Kosovo is on the euro, but a euro goes a long way there. Um, in Serbia, you know, they have the Serbian dinar, and the exchange rate there between the dollar is really good. Um, so, you know, yeah, just food for thought. Food for thought. I will be back with an update later. So ladies and gents, we're in a gas station here, and I don't know what these are. They look really interesting. And I'm gonna try one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I made it into Sofia. I'm at the bus station here. And just so you know, it's like a lot of places, you know, you get in, the first thing somebody asks is, do you speak English? You say yes, immediately they wanna take your bag and put it on a little cart, and. Go get your ticket for you, and you already know where this is going. Yeah, there's a lot of hustlers here. And they'll try and get you out of, like, he tried to get me for five euros for that, which over here, that's a lot of money. Over here, that's a lot of money. And I, I gave him like a euro, and I told him, I said, dude, look, I'm not being mean, but I told you when you grabbed my bag to start with that I didn't want your help, and I didn't need your help, and you absolutely insisted. I didn't want to be rude to you then, but, you know, I told you I didn't want your help. And, you know, so these people here, you have to be very firm and just tell them, no, I've got my bag, I can figure out my ticket. Because they will do that and they will try and take advantage of you. Be careful. Not everybody is like that, but you have the few that are fucking hustlers that are going to do that. So, bear that in mind. However, they do have pretty tasty looking food here. I'm not sure exactly <coughs> exactly what kind of pizza. This giant slice of pizza that I got for uh, I guess about two dollars American or so um, is, but it looks really tasty, and I am about to try it. I'm telling you guys that yes, it is very tasty. It's pretty good. So, when you come to the bus station in Sofia, Bulgaria, you get the pizza. It's pretty legit. So, yeah, I don't even believe it. In Sofia, Bulgaria. City. I'd like to come here and spend some time sometime. Anyhow, just figured you guys might want to see the McDonald's here. By the way, Bulgaria is an hour ahead of Macedonia, so don't get in here at, you know, don't think you're on Macedonian time when you're here. The bus leaves at 4.45 Bulgarian time. Mexico, which according to my watch was an hour early so be cognizant of the time change when you come here but that's all I got plus I just see something <laughs> incredibly noteworthy along the way that I got to shoot then 
I will catch back up and we'll get into Vasco. Bye bye. Okay, friends and neighbors, I just got into Bansko, Bulgaria. As you see here, the bus stop is uh, not really much of a stop. They just kind of drop you off here. And uh, so I don't really know what's up with cabs or any of that shit. So I'm going to try and uh, see what I can find in terms of a way to my hotel. And I'll give you guys an update when I get there. But as you can see, the snow is coming down quite nicely. Catch up soon. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am in Bansko now. <laughs> and uh, all back there, you can't really probably see it. Sorry, I missed it, but there's a bunch of restaurants and stuff, and uh, it looks like a very lively little ski town here. It, it looks like there's no shortage of places to stay here. This is the MPM Sport Hotel where I almost stayed at. It's near the Kapinski Grand Arena where I wanted to stay, but all the rooms were built up, and the Kapinski is quite expensive. The Kapinski for nine nights is going to cost me about $1,300, which sounds like a lot, but it's a solid five-star hotel, and it is right there at the main gondola lift. And also, if you're a resident of the Kapinski Grand or a couple of others, um, you can get this VIP lift ticket and basically yeah. skip the line going into the lifts. As you see, we've got plenty of snow tonight, so the slopes ought to be nice and ready for me to buy. My hotel that I am staying at is called the Mountain Dream Park Hotel, and as I can now tell, it looks like it's definitely a little ways away from everything else in Boston. Or maybe not. I see a little supermarket here, so, We'll find out. We'll see what else is going on here. See, there's a little supermarket there. But uh, the main drag, you know, is, is back the other way, so that's uh, a bit of a bummer. But the place is cheap and they do provide a free shuttle to the lift station. So that would be nice. That's uh, up. <laughs> at my hotel now, and I will check in later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the place may be a little far removed. However, check-in is as easy, truly, as just showing up. I walked up to the counter, and he put my room key on the counter. Didn't ask for my passport or anything. I guess he already knew who I was, because I made the booking through booking.com. And, yeah, fantastic. Uh, I'll show you around the room here. It's actually quite adequate. And, uh, you know, for $300, $360 for 10 nights, <laughs> I mean, you know, what more can you ask for for $360 for 10 nights? Oh, it looks like I get a balcony, too. Look at this. Oh, freak, yeah, check that out. I get a balcony here, which is cool. There's a little spot to just sit out here. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's a little further away. It's a little further removed from kind of the main bar party drag, you know. Uh, but, in a sense, that's actually very nice because it's nice and quiet here. So those of you who are looking for a nice, quiet place who aren't really into the clubs and the bars and the wild après ski nightlife that Bansko is reportedly known for, you might actually rather like this place and get to save some money staying here because as you see it's it's just quite serene. It's very nice, very quiet. And um you know for the money, I mean I can't say this is not a, a good value for money. I mean everywhere in Bansko is is a value for money. You know, like I said, even the Kapinski Grand Arena is the nicest hotel in Bonsco and even in peak season here around Christmas you can stay there for 10 nights through Christmas for like 1300 bucks and in the off season you can stay there for the same amount of time for like five to six hundred and it's a solid solid five-star hotel from what everyone tells me I'm planning to come back to Bonsco at some point just to stay there and check it out and do a review on that hotel 
Um, but again, they were booked up, and I just thought, you know, this first go around in Bonsco, it won't kill me to kind of just get the lay of the land, save some money, you know, because I'm coming here for one reason, and that's to ski. This place that I'm staying at here, the Mountain Dream Apart Hotel, has a free shuttle service that will take me to the ski lift, uh, to the main gondola station, I should say, uh, you know, every morning. It will bring me back every night, and, you know, that's that. And if I need to, you know, go downtown and I want to go out and go to the pub and have a drink or something, you know, I'll pay a cab. Uh, the cabs here, I noticed, are a little expensive from from the bus station, uh, which is actually right next door to the Grand Hotel Bansko, uh, which is also a very nice hotel. It's a four-star hotel. Also, a little far the other way removed from uh, a lot of the nightlife and stuff, but a very nice hotel, you know, has a pool, etc. Uh, and from there, it was 10.78 Bulgarian Leva, and I don't know exactly what that is in dollars. I think... One dollar is roughly 1.66 Bulgarian leva. So, basically it was about, I don't know, seven dollars or so, six fifty or seven dollars for the cab. And it was only 3.2 kilometers. 